There are so many updates that we got to talk about. We have about two hours till market closes and we have just been trading sideways, chilling at $1.25 right now for Mullen stock. I'm going to talk about Lawrence's new post today and my honest opinions on what he's putting out and what is to come. And also going to talk about this cost to borrow is skyrocketing and I think shorts are getting concerned. Before I get started, don't forget to drop a like. Think about subscribing if you're not subscribed yet. Of course, none of this is financial advice. And don't forget to grab your coffee. Here's mine. Anyone else have that Nespresso machine? Sometimes it just hits perfect. So I got to repost this from Mainzer. Just gave this person a follow the other day. I would follow them if I were you. They post a lot of uh, fast stuff on Mullen, like newest updates. So I, I really enjoy their content on Twitter. But they posted this that uh, Geode Capital Management LLC actually did a 200% increase in share amount for Mullen stock. So they now hold over 25 million shares. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the bottom line is they increased their share count by over 200%, almost 300%. You can see right here. Pretty incredible. So why would they do this? I made a video the other day stating I can understand someone buying into a stock. Why would these institutions keep increasing their share count and even by almost 300%? Now this is the thing that we got to break down. So Lawrence posted on Facebook earlier today and he said, I accept my new position as senior vice president. So did they promote him because he wants to talk? He wants to give us the news that we're all looking for because I do think Lawrence cares about the shareholders of Mullen stock. I think he cares more about the shareholders than David. I could say that at least and I think most of you would agree. So maybe they promoted him so that he can actually put out news, new announcements. Not really sure 100% on that, but congrats to your promotion, Lawrence. Hopefully we start heading in the right direction with this stock. I'm also proud to see the job creations in Tunica, Mississippi, my home state. Can't remember they have a facility in Tunica. And on today's report earlier today, Mullen put out that they're actually gonna be uh, finishing, I believe the class one EV vans at Tunica, Mississippi. So when you start to put all the pieces together, this is sounding very nice. And then we talk about Lawrence's technology into these vehicles. I do think things are starting to head in the right direction. Time to shut these naysayers down. So Lawrence has always been big on underdogs and he stated a lot of stuff on Facebook and his Facebook lives like, hey, we're proof in the pudding, like we're putting things together. We're not gonna announce anything before it's done and I can respect him for that and what Mullen is actually building. Now the huge barricades right now, well, there's a lot of barricades, but the legit one that I can understand why people are bearish on Mullen stock is actually two reasons. One, the stock price sucks, so it's gonna put a lot of fear into the market. And the second one is production. But we did see earlier today when they put out that, that article at 8 a.m. Eastern time, that production for the class three vehicles is starting in July, okay? Don't really know about the class one yet, but Lawrence has also stated that production has already begun or it is beginning very soon, okay? Now this is the big one. Stay tuned for the real deal, holy field as my buddy would say. So last time he said, I got some granddaddy news announcing on Monday. That was when they got the DC contract uh, with his technology in the Chevy Bolts. Now, I don't know if that's granddaddy. To me, that's not granddaddy news. To him, it might've been granddaddy news because that's gonna be great for his life and his technology. And I do think that's, that's pretty up there, you know, a government contract, which is huge because the ripple effect happens, right? More businesses come in, just like I was stating with the colleges and these vans, UNC, more colleges will step in and they might want to buy these vans, okay? But here's the granddaddy news and we got to understand, is this actually, is this actually going to happen? Like, is this deal a legit deal with Saudi Arabia? Well, let's find out. Representatives from my team have been in Saudi since last Friday working on bringing the Saudi deal to fruition, okay? Now the Saudi deal he has stated multiple times is for his benefit, MAEO's benefit as well. Yeah, you can see right here, Mullen Advanced Technology Operations. So it's mainly to him, but he says Mullen will benefit from the Saudi deal. So this is huge. They also said they're building a facility in Michigan. So again, I have never put all my faith and belief in the Saudi deal and why I'm investing in Mullen. But if this actually happens, then this could be huge for this company and for this stock price. Of 
course, just my own opinion, not being financial advice whatsoever. I represent facts, this is my story, and I stand behind it. So I, it seems like Lawrence, if I had to say one word about him, I would say that he's loyal. That would be my word for him. I think he's loyal to his shareholders, he's loyal, loyal to Molin, and he's lo loyal to his technology, so let's see what happens from here. Now there are a lot of people in talks with Lawrence and they're posting on Twitter and this is some of the things that he said. He said, I think everyone will be happy. I will be in charge of the process going forward. I'm in for the shareholders. So my belief on Lawrence is the same thing as what he keeps telling people. And I just don't think Lawrence is a bad guy and I don't think he's lying about all the stuff that is happening because you can go back in history and everything he has said has pretty much come true from what I've seen. Okay, I think he's in way too deep. I think he does care about shareholders and he actually wants to see Mullen success. And his technology is very real. It's been tested by the government. It's been tested by Mullen. It's been tested by other companies as well, right? I do think this technology will be in vehicles. I think it already is in vehicles from what it sounds like with the Chevy Bolts in DC. So if he actually is here for the shareholders, it's pretty smart of them to give him a role with MAEO, announcing that he's the senior vice president, I believe, so that he can actually put out news. He can actually say kind of what he wants to say. He might have more leeway now to actually speak his mind. And I, again, I think he was very excited. He said a lot of things, which kind of got him in trouble, and that's why he deleted his Facebook. That's why Mullen probably said, hey, you gotta slow down. You can't be saying all of this stuff, right? And then they replied, you are the best brother. Thanks for looking out for us. He said press release in the morning. So this was obviously yesterday. Press release did get released this morning, but I do think something is coming. He also said in his live the other day before he deleted his Facebook that within two weeks from, I believe maybe like four or five days ago, something big is coming again. So I gotta have the faith that something big is coming. Uh, we did get production news today, which is great for the class three, which keeps me positive about this company. I think that's the next thing I need is understanding the production for class one vans and really what is the next move for Mullen because we see the deals coming in, right? I wanna understand more what's going on with Bollinger. Like I think Mullen has a lot of pieces to this puzzle of success. They got the technology, they got Bollinger, they have partnerships, they have money coming in, they have deals, they have a unique van that's a good cost for businesses. They have so much going for them that this stock, I believe, is just ready to do what it's supposed to do, but time will tell because we're still trading at $1.25 and we have less than two hours left in market open. You can see here the cost to borrow, Rye Trader posted cost to borrow 185% available to short 4,000. So it's not a whole lot of shares, right? Remember pre-split, 4,000, I mean, was probably 4,000 times 25, someone else did the math, but 4,000, not a lot of shares available to short, plus a high cost to borrow. Just gotta wait our time. Guys, thanks for watching. Drop a like if you got some value, and we'll see you on the next one.